Welcome to the Sarah Scoop channel. Today I'm going to share with you some musicals to listen to next if you love Hamilton. Before we get into this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Sarah Scoop. In the Heights In the Heights takes place over the course of three days in Washington Heights. Its theme covers community and hope while depicting immigrant issues. In 2008, it deservedly won the Tony for Best Musical. It stars Christopher Jackson and Lin-Manuel Miranda who wrote the music and lyrics. The film adaptation was set to premiere this past June, however, due to COVID-19 health concerns, the release is rescheduled to next year. Bring it on! This film to stage adaptation has music by Lin-Manuel Miranda, Amanda Green, and Tom Kitt. This musical received nominations for Best Musical and Best Choreography. If you're a Mean Girls the Musical fan, you may also recognize Regina George actor Taylor Latterman. This Broadway cast also features Hamilton Ensemble member Ariana DeBose. Speaking of Ariana DeBose, she will be playing Anita in the upcoming film remake of West Side Story. This is one of my favorite musicals and I'm so excited to see Latinx actors cast appropriately. Also, Lin-Manuel Miranda translated the Mimix lyrics from English to Spanish for authenticity in the 2009 revival. The story is most known for being a retelling of Romeo and Juliet, but it also speaks on racial violence. Please give this timeless classic your attention. The Prom This musical stars, you guessed it, Ariana DeBose. Well, she will soon. The Netflix adaptation will be released this upcoming fall and stars heavyweights Meryl Streep, James Corden, and Andrew Reynolds, who played King George in Hamilton briefly. In the show, Broadway actors travel to Indiana after hearing that a teenage girl was not allowed to bring her girlfriend to prom. Although it sounds like a downer, it is loosely based on a true story and it's delightful. Amelie Based on the 2001 French comedy of the same name, this 2017 Broadway musical starred Philippa Sue. Although its time on the stage was brief, the show was uplifting and contained some great pieces of music. At one point in the song Goodbye Amelie's, she imagines Elton John singing her praises and it's adorable. Natasha Pierre and the Great Comet of 1812 Another fantastic Philippa Sue hit. Before Hamilton, she starred as Natasha in the off-Broadway production of The Great Comet of 1812 after she graduated from Juilliard. This musical is based on Total's War and Peace, but is much more engaging than the original text. Spring Awakening Jonathan Groff may be known as King George to many, but before he was spitting during You'll Be Back, he was playing a 19th century German teenager discovering his sexuality. The production won eight Tony Awards and the 2015 revival produced by Death West received three nominations. It has an alternative rock score and I guarantee it will make you cry. Leah Michelle and Skylar Austin were in the original cast as well. A New Brain Jonathan Groff again. In 2015, Groff played the role of Gordon Michael Schwinn at the New York City Center. With music and lyrics by William Finn, this musical is semi-autobiographical. It details how art carried him through an audio-venous malformation. Leap of Faith The talented Leslie Odom Jr. played Isaiah Strunavon in the musical adapted from the movie of the same name. It has music by Alan Menken, writer of The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Little Shop of Horrors, and the list goes on. Although it was not a hit, and the stage musical has a history that is dissimilar to many of the other shows, it received four Tony Awards after its closing. The Color Purple, another film adaptation. Renee Lee Goldsberry originated the role of Nanette in 2005. The original production received 10 Tony nominations and its 2015 revival received four and won Best Revival. Thank you for watching. Head to sarahscoop.com for more of the scoop on your favorite things.